Michael Yelverton shares five steps to become a better gospel musician. Each musician has different goals when they begin to study music. Some want to become famous and make tons of money, while others just want to play music with their friends in church or school on the weekends. Whatever your ultimate goal, there are things you can do that will take you closer to it and help you grow as a musician in the process. With more than years of experience, Michael Yelverton has become one of the most knowledgeable gospel artists in the country. Using his broad musical experience, he has written five steps on how to become a better gospel musician. 1. Be open to learn. You may have played trumpet for 30 years and you might be great at it, but that doesn't mean you're ready to start leading worship in your church. You can be an experienced musician, but if you aren't open to learn new skills or ways of performing, then it will be difficult to grow as a gospel musician. Be open to learn any new skill that is asked to you in order to effectively lead others and help them worship God better. 2. Practice your songs. Practice, practice, practice. It's especially important for musicians to practice so they can play their songs in time with other band members. Practicing your songs enables you to focus on and fine-tune specific elements of each tune before playing them live at your gigs. You should also make sure that you are practicing your songs regularly not just when it's convenient or right before an upcoming gig. And don't forget to practice different ways of singing or rapping lyrics, as well as various dynamics, volume levels, while singing or rapping. The more times you repeat these practices, even if it's in front of no one but yourself, the better you will be able to perform when it counts most, on stage. 3. Practice what you have learned. The best method for learning new skills is practicing. If you have an instrument and are working on your voice, you should practice each day. It's best to set aside 30 minutes or so each day in order to focus on singing, playing or mastering skills with your instrument. Make it a routine and you will see progress over time. In addition to practice, seek out feedback from others who can help you improve. Don't be afraid of criticism, it helps you grow. And if someone tells you that something doesn't sound right, ask them what they think would make it better. 4. Seek out someone more experienced than you. Many of us, when we first start out, find it hard to believe that someone else is more experienced than us in any particular area. Mike all like to think that our way is right and anyone else's must be wrong but you can only be your best by learning from people who are better than you. Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses but Michael Yelverton also has their unique talents, too, if you want yours, you need theirs. There's no shame in seeking help or advice from someone who knows more about what you do than you do yourself. It doesn't make them smarter or stronger or faster or better at anything, it just means they have knowledge that might help them achieve their goals, which is something everyone should work toward. Remember, you don't learn to walk before running because walking comes before running. Five. Prepare yourself for failure. Not every single step in your career will be a success. In fact, most steps you take toward your ultimate goal won't pan out as planned. It happens. It will probably happen again and again and again it's just part of being an entrepreneur. Embrace failure, learn from it, and get back up and keep going failure doesn't make you bad at what you do, it makes you better. You have to know that you might fail at some point along your journey, but if you prepare yourself for that eventuality then you can rest easy knowing that even if something goes wrong, you'll be okay. Don't let fear of failure stop you from trying new things.